Our officials for this match. First referee, Mr. Herbert Matematico, Asian international referee. Second referee, Mr. Angelo Hao, national referee. Let's call on our starting lineup from our PLDT Home Fiber High Speed Hitters. Let's begin with jersey number four, Julian Marie Samonte. At number six, Savannah Dawn Davison. Wearing jersey number nine, Kim Fajardo. At number 10, Mary Joy Baron. Wearing jersey number 17, Fiola May Ceballos. And at number 18, Jesse Lane De Leon. Starting libero is their team captain, number eight, Kathleen Faith Arado. Head coach, Mr. Ralph Benson Riccafort. Presenting our gallery's tower, High Risers. At number one, Carlota Hernandez. Wearing jersey number four, Maria Cholome Alvarez. Wearing jersey number eight, Renee Mabilangan. At number 13, France Elise Ronquillo. Number 14, Andrea Marzon. And number 16, Noriel Ipak. Starting libero is number 10, Eliza Eroa. Head coach, Ms. Lerma Hiron. This match is under the supervision and regulation of the Games and Amusement Board. Presenting the starters for PLDT, it's Majoy Baron with Jesse De Leon at the middle, Jules Amonte. Viola Ceballos and Savi Davison at the wing. Their starting setter will be Kim Fajardo over Rea de Maculangan and his team captain, Cajarado at Libero. On the other end, Ipak and Marzan will start at the middle for galleries with Ronquillo, Mabilangan, Hernandez, Alvarez, and Eroa. So Eliza Eroa is actually going up against her former team for today. And uh, if we can go back to the starting lineup for PLDT, the mention of ni Jana Ejito, no? that uh, Kiana D mm -hmm. is not yet 100% for today and also Del Palomata will be coming off the bench as a part of the rotation for Coach Rald in today's outing. Mika Reyes is also out because of a shoulder injury. But it still seems like a, form a formidable <laughs> starting six, Noreen, for PLDT. Obviously, especially, we have to say, uh, for the La Salle fans and the F2 Logistics fans, yes, that's Kim Fajardo, yes, it's <laughs> they're in red right now yes. there with PLDT. But yeah, they are formidable and what you like is what they will bring, talking about the F former F2 players, what, what they will bring the championship mm -hmm. culture to PLDT. Carly Hernandez with her first hit in this matchup. So she's actually playing as a wing spiker and not as a libero. Yeah. Uh, probably during the off season, you'll see the, the training, the development. So that's a pretty good sign for Coach Lerma. There's Kim Fajardo wearing red. Red. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of weird to see, but we'll take it. Yeah, but the issue really, you know, even when you when you watch the VTR, even Majoy Baron is talking about injuries. This is a long tournament, 12 teams, so each team will play 11 games. That's a lot of games, so it's good that the coaches will rotate, you know, shuffle the players to give ample time for rest and recovery. And for a team like PLDT that has aspirations to finish in the podium, that means a couple more semifinals matches or even proceed to the battle for bronze and gold. But right now, we have to notice the fact that Carly Hernandez is off to a great start for Gallery Tower. Two points already for her. Samonte will give it up to Savi Davison. Well, you remember from the last conference when she introduced herself, <laughs> Davison, uh, what an you know, addition to PLDT. And uh, she wastes no time in reacquainting herself to the fans. Now it's Jesse De Leon serving for PLDT. She's the one getting the minutes ahead of Del Palomata for today's outing. Mabilangan opens up. That's Ronquillo, one of the newest additions of Galleries Tower. And he 
And now let's take this time to listen in to our newest addition in the PBL broadcast team in Jana Ejido. Mig Sinarine, the PLDT high speed hitters. It is no secret that they have been welcoming lots of change coming into this conference. And one of them is Kath Arado, who recognizes her role as a team captain for this team. She acknowledges how her veteran teammates actually make the work so much easier for her. And even with the new faces on her team, she says the high speed hitters are still the jolly players. They are constantly known to be serious on the court and jolly off of it. And this is exactly the kind of dynamic she aims to continue fostering here in 2024. And this report is brought to you by the Filipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now or watch via PilipinasLive.com and experience PBL games live in HD and commercial free anytime and anywhere in the world. Back to you, Migs and Noreen. You know, Noreen, I've covered Katharada for how many years Forever. now? Maybe seven years. And if Jana would describe the culture as jolly, the type of atmosphere that they would like, then that really makes Kath as the perfect captain for them. Yeah. And she, you know, the way she cheers her teammates on, very infectious. Mm -hmm. eh? So, yeah, I mean, if they're going to live by that, then, yeah, she's a good captain. But right now, they're going to need to exhibit more of that culture as they're down by three points. Five to two, Jules Samonte meets the line. But it's a great start by Gallery Tower. We, we have to mention, no, in last conference, they only won one game. So really, they have nothing to lose. For me, now their focus should be on just constant improvement, game after game after game. But and, can, and they're looking good, by the yes. way. Yes. Can you imagine if they actually win today? <laughs> what that would mean for this team? The, the morale's going to be sky high. That's for sure. Nice dig by Carly. And Alvarez will score off the block. They look light. They look good. Talking about galleries. The high risers. Shola Alvarez, former NCAA MVP. So she, she has a lot to contribute to this team. And she's going up against a couple of her former teammates, yeah. by the way. Yep. Received there by Kath. Attack from the opposite. And Jules delivers. Well, Jules Amonte throughout her career she starts she doesn't start so it's also a challenge for her this spike of the set is brought to you by duncan pasalubong ng bayan cross court for blue samonte a champion herself in the uap playing for ateneo that was the last championship by the blue eagles by the way all right nice block by pldt one more chance dip came for hard though keeping it alive majoy back to jules she really pushed it over. We saw the force she used. It's like, no way I'm going to not get this over. Well, you're talking about good starts. Jules Amonte, pretty good start. Now they're just down by one. Jules has scored more than half of PLDT's tally with three so far. As you get to see a service error by Majoy Baron. Well, by my count, that's already two service errors. You are correct, Noreen. <laughs> one, one for Kim Fajardo, one from uh, Majoy Baron. Trying to get the feel of the match. Yeah. Actually, we usually mention no, that it's the first half of the first set wherein players are just really adjusting on the court. <laughs> adjusting, warming up. Here's Shola Alvarez. First game as a part of Gallery Tower. Ball put up by Savi. Back set to Jules, the hot hand. And there's a whistle blown. Violation against the high risers. Well, you know. You said we have to get used to Hernandez being an attacker, yep. a blocker. I'm sure you talk, you're talk. you talking about adjustments. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of <laughs> adjustments on her end, right? Also the confidence level. Eroa with the receive. Kabilangan back sets to the slide. Oh, good dig. Counter for PLDT. We dip it over. Abilangan, one, two. Yes, ma'am. That deserves a round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> Even from us. <laughs> and that round of applause can extend a bit longer because now we have our first technical timeout.
na supportahan ng Gilas Pilipinas kontra Chinese Taipei sa FIBA Asia Cup 2025 qualifiers this Feb 25. Malapit na po yun, no? Live at the Phil Sports Arena in Pasig City. Buy your tickets now. But we'd also like to invite you to join us here for our PBL All Filipino Conference. Only the third game for our conference so far. Later on, this shall be followed by Next Led versus Choco Mucho. Well, that's going to be an interesting match. Well, we've had fans already entering this arena. And na sila sa labas. Nag-aabak ng mga idol nila. Well, we know for a fact, for a fact, that every time there is a Choco Mucho game, mm -hmm. <laughs> The, they pack the stadiums. That's why, I mean, you gotta thank the fans for always supporting their teams. Davison will give up a free ball. Ronquillo, Abilangan to the open. Oh, that's a bit low for Carly, but they shall continue. Chance ball for PLDT. Yeah, no whistle there. De Leon was rejected. Back on the net, and Andrea Marzan wins it. Well, we always say if the referee does not blow his whistle, you shouldn't stop play. That was a the, the celebration of PLDT was uh, right too quick. Mm -hmm. You have to wait. So anyway, Galleries gets the point. And they didn't challenge as well. Yeah. Nine to seven. It was premature there. Premature. Nay Mabilangan with the serve. And here's Savi. Lefty push, Roa keeping it alive. Ronquillo denied at the net. How about that save? Well, it's four touches now. Oh, you like the way Roa is just diving for these balls, <laughs> trying to keep that in play. Well, again, Noreen, she's going up against her former team. Yeah. She, she wants to show her former teammates that, you know, you, you're going to miss a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's a common theme in all of sports. Eight serving nine, Jesse De Leon will be doing the honors. A chance to tie for PLDT. The architect will send that ball in. Carly with the receive. Back set by Marzan, down the line target. Oh. PLDT keeps it alive. Free ball, Eroa says, ako na. Mabilangan to the quick. Nice block by Majoy. Here's the counter. Calf onto Savvy. Zone number one. Oh. Yes. Good effort though on the side of Gallery's Tower, but what an angle chosen by uh, Davison. She saw the down the line, not much power, just directed the ball. And so now PLDT has a chance to get the lead in the first set. Jesse De Leon back at it at the service line. That's in, Iroa receives, not the best of receives. Conquillo, chance on the other end, quick hit. And no more save for Shola Alvarez. Yeah, just a smart tip there at the center of Gallery's defense, and they grab the lead. Just like that, a beautiful response from the team of Coach Raul Dricafort. Yeah, you like that set, not that back set from Fajardo to Baron. Really, the blockers were there, the defense still scrambling. There really is a lot of chemistry already between those two. As Ronquillo answers back quickly for Gallery Tower. Well, the addition so far, we have to say, the addition of Ronquillo and Alvarez really looking good for, for Gallery Tower. Back to a deadlock. Yeah, but Carly Hernandez doing the honors. Mm. I was actually about to say that at some point, no, she was a service specialist. It's a good thing you didn't see. Yeah, buti na lang. Hindi <laughs> muna. <laughs> As Fajardo will now be doing the honors on the other end. So it's a full front line, supposedly. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mabilangan. Opposite angle. Ronquillo was denied. Eroa clearing out her teammates. France. How about oh. that by Catarado? Signature Catarado. Good coverage. Also by Fiola Ceballos. Mabilangan. Eroa. Alvarez over the blockers. Fajardo will give it to Majoy. Nice block by Andrea Marzan. That was a perfect read. Marzan just read that. And you can see Jose Mosse just staring at that ball. <laughs> oh, she right? couldn't do anything anymore. <laughs> The reaction time wasn't there. Andrea Marzan served to Savi, who gets it back. Not the best of sets. Scramble on oh. the other end. Well, for me, that wasted opportunity really for galleries because that was a 
kind of a free ball. But Savi would gladly take it. The Canadian on her second conference. Might I say, I'm looking forward to her battle with Van Brooke Van Sickle. <laughs> That's going to be Signal versus... Oh, sorry, Petrogas, no? Yeah. Petrogas versus PLDT. Back row for Carly. That's in. And will there be a challenge? I think it was good from our vantage point. What defense being displayed or displayed by galleries there. Oh, that was good. They deserve that point. They really do. Carly Hernandez has three points already in this game. Unfortunately, they give up a service error. Well, we always say in a close match, you know, you don't want to see these service errors. Yes, Coach Lerma asking for a good pass. Joy Baron will be serving. That's in. Yeah. Kabilangan. Julia Epoch. That's kind of a signature for her, though. The running hit. Can you imagine if she develops further that connection, you know? With Mabilangan. With Mabilangan, yeah. With Mabilangan, that's going to be really lethal. After all, this is only the first conference of name Mabilangan fresh off of National University. And she actually has two veteran setters. On the roster, no? Fen Emnas and Ace Masangkai. So they have three setters. Attack from the middle, Jesse De Leon could not score. That's a back row hit by Ronquillo. Denied by PLDT, Carly. Great net defense by the high-speed hitters. Yeah, not the tallest blockers. We can see Samonte and De Leon, but really, they were able to get a hand to that. Samonte. So that's Jules' fourth point in this game. She will now be serving. Well, she's taking advantage of the fact that she's starting this match. Why not? Yeah. Alvarez sends it to the left pin. Hernandez tips it over. Good chance for PLDT. Middle hit. Oh, still alive. Chance ball. Samonte, Fajardo, Ceballos. Good defense by Gallery Stower. Hernandez covering herself there. <laughs> Epoch will give up a free ball. Can PLDT capitalize? 1 2 for Kim. Eroa was there. Nice read. Carly rejected. How about that coverage by Eliza Eroa? We shall continue and no more chase for Gallery Stower. Well, you have to remember what Kim Fajardo is capable of doing. That is one of them. But it was a good rally, we have to say. But this one, just looking for the empty spot yes. in your opponent's court. <laughs> Centers really have good eyes no, for yeah. those corners. Their court sense. Eroa has been playing very well, getting the receive. And that leads onto a point for Julia Ipak. Well, you did mention earlier Ipak, and if she gets really comfortable, you know, with that position, look at that. That's another slide. Gallery Tower keeping it tight. 14 serving 15. That's inside for Julia. Received by Savi. And Jesse De Leon could not get some retribution. That's outside. Well, PLDT trying or attempting a slide of their own. Just not enough flick of the wrist for Jesse De Leon. She actually had that same reaction no? <laughs> after the error. Tried to flick her wrist the there, right way. You know? She was there. <laughs> she just missed that last contact. Miss received. Fajardo chases. Ceballos will send it over the blockers. Mabilangan, back row hit. Let's see how PLDT will counter. Fiola could not score. What defense. Mabilangan, bit tight there for Carly, but she sends it through. Calf, back row, Savi, yes! Oh. Hernandez was actually there, but Marzan wanted to interfere. <laughs> All right, so PLDT will send us to the second technical timeout. 16-15.
Pumapanood na rin tayo ngayon sa pinakabagong free-to-air channel na talaga namang para sa Pinoy, ang RPTV. Tutok na sa Analog TV Channel 9, ODD Channel 19, at sa hig higit 300 cable at satellite providers nationwide at sa Signal Play. Right now, we are coming to you live from the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center in the city of San Juan for Savvy Davison and PLDT taking on the Gallery Star High Risers who have been impressing a lot of people in today's matchup. Thor defense has been a thing for them. You can actually see no, that there's a bit of a height disparity. It's a gallery tower by just a bit. Yeah. But at least they're making up for it with their defense on the floor. Their defense today is so impressive. Oh, oh, oh what Speaking a thing. Back row hit, and that's inside for France, Ronquillo. You know, we talked about it in the pregame. Ronquillo comes off the bench, little playing time, but boy, she's so impressive. She can actually elevate and get those skills. Ronquillo comes over from Cherry Tigo. Cherry, correct, correct. Yes. Cherry, cherry. Looking very good, wearing blue and green. 16 all. Savvy, up speed. Good defense by Carly. And here's Ronquillo. Carly was a bit late there. But I've been noticing Savvy Davison, the way she's blocking. No, you, you know, if you want to learn the proper position of blocking, you watch her. The, the way she really reaches over the net. Para maibaon. Oh, or to keep it in play. If, if if to keep it in play, at least it's in the court of the opponent. Let's see if she can be even more effective with that blocking of hers as Ronquillo targets down the line. Counter for PLDT. Savvy with a down the line of her own. Savvy looks so savvy. Oh, I love that. <laughs> with that kill. boy, partner. All right, we have a timeout. Alright, we've heard this a lot though, especially when it comes to smaller teams going up, going up against taller blockers. You need to have some variety, swipe it left, swipe it right. But she also mentioned, Coach Lerma, yung uh, switching nila. That's with their floor defense, ba? No, when you're at the net, you switch. Uh, yeah, also, also. The defensive pattern switches, like Eroa normally is a sweeper, mm -hmm. meaning in the center. So, yeah, the switches should be faster because it's it's part of practice. Eh? You, you, kumbaga, you rehearse it. Eh? Oh, <laughs> and that's the thing that we have been praising for Gallery Sauer, no? Yeah, yeah, their defense today really on point. Carly Hernandez has a lot to do with it. They basically have two liberos on the floor. As she serves that ball in. Calf opens up. Lefty tip for Savi. Mabilangan. Ooh. Tough angle right there. Samonte back to Davison. Off speed. That goes through. Chase for Ney. Ronquillo. Free ball. Calf with a smile. Calf also with a smile. And that's Davison going cross. Eroa with a frown there because <laughs> she could have gotten that. She knew that she was talking to, uh, I think it was Shona saying, move! <laughs> Give me my space! Ayun, okay, tamo naman yung reaction. You know these liberos, they're, they're really perfectionists, right? They, they want to get all the balls if they can. As they should, that's their role. Yeah. Ball returned to the side of Gallery Tower. Shola Alvarez rejected, coverage was there. Eroa. Back to Shola. Check ball. Look at the celebration after. You know, if, like you said earlier, if galleries can actually win this first set, it's going to be huge for them. But you see the way they're playing, how much it means to these mm. players. Eh? Yeah, the substitution, Andrea Marzan checks out. Service specialist will be Rap Rap Aguilar. Oh, she's been an OG here in the PBL. Good to see her back. On her second conference with Gallery Tower, Savi with a nice receive, and she attacks. 
Usually, ganun yun, no? Maganda yung tanggap mo. Ikaw yung bibuelo. It's an automatic point for you. Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, Rap Aguilar, baptism of fire there. Savannah Davison just showing her. Okay, go back to the, <laughs> go back to the bench. 20, serving 18. Xavi, that's in. Receive for Shola. Oh. Miss Rosigo. That's uncharacteristic because Shola Alvarez is also known to be a great defender. So when you look at the backcourt of galleries, Alvarez, Hernandez, and Eroa, that should be great defense. That was the first ace of this match so far. We have a timeout. Okay. Ngayon, atake tayo. Kung mga kapag... Uh, ilang spider? Dalawa lang tayo? Tatlo. Tatlo, oh, tatlo yan. Kung ma-activate natin, middle natin. Okay? Malakas yung blockings ng kabila. Hindi natin pwedeng paluin lang ng diretso sa blocker. Discard yan natin. May bakro ka rin, ha? <laughs> If ever mag-agipita. Pagalawin <laughs> Puro basic-basic tayo. Maganda pa sa mag-play tayo. Pasa mo na tayo. Well, that certainly is one good way to confuse the blockers of PLDT. You know? Use all three of your attackers. Mm -hmm. Activate the middles so that the lives of the wing spikers would be easier. So, all eyes on that woman. Julia Ipa. And also reminding the girls of the options. You have back row, mm -hmm. you know, so we have a lot of options. You have to use it. You have to distribute. Savi Davison will be serving here. There still is that back line of Hernandez, Eroa, and Alvarez. There's the first ball. Better, Better one. Back set. Ronquillo is denied again. Yeah, this time, Ceballos. Boy, that side of the court. That left side has been very effective in terms of blocking. And that single block. Yeah. But that was enough. Savi will continue to serve. It's now a four-point advantage. The biggest in this game so far. Bilangan to the open. Tatarado couldn't get the perfect dig. It's a point for Gallery Tower. A badly needed point, by the way. Yeah, finally, they stopped the bleeding. Now we have a double sub. Fen Emnas will check in alongside team captain, Demi Pakres. Well, they're hoping this substitution will create some magic for the gallery's tower. Oh, uh, I'm sure a lot of people want to see some Demi magic. Yeah. No, even Fen Emnas. I mean, we know that she's such a great setter. Here she is with a serve. Ball inside, Savi with a nice looking receive. Oh, what a dig. That's by Eliza Eroa. Demi Pacres. We shall continue. Great effort by Catarado. Oh, we kept praising the defense of Gallery Star. What about PLDD? We actually thought that was a good ball. That was a point for Galleries, but they keep it in play. It's Catarado. Does a Tim Mahardo. <laughs> Straight to zone number one there for Catarado, the team captain on the other end. Substitution! We have Sheila Quiseo checking in for the first time to serve for PLDT. That? Welcome to the PBL, That's right. Sheila Quiseo. From FEU, Dalawa Silano, the former Lady Tamarao, now in the program for the high-speed hitters. Eroa receives, Emma sets. And that tip works for Shola Alvarez. They're saying it's out, but the linesman clearly pointed it as a good ball. No challenge. Yep. Oh, will there be now? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right on cue, pretty, Sinorin Go. Pretty delayed challenge. Yeah, usually may oras lang eh. No? No. So a quick window, as we should say, where you're allowed to challenge. So, Coach Manolo, Refugio, refugio no? Uh, of FEU. Yeah. Is raising that card. And damn, decorated coaches, don't to be a lady. Should we say? It's good you, you said that. I, every time we look at a, the, the bench of all these teams, for that matter, you'll see, like, even in Gallery Tower. Right, Coach Godfrey is Godfrey there. Godfrey Okumo, Wewe Medina. You know, you look at the other side, Refugia. <laughs> Coach Arnold Danyog is there as well. Imagine, no? the coaches, they share expertise just to make a certain team better. <laughs> well, let's see if that would be effective for BLDT. Uh, more especially in the season, they're gunning for a podium finish. In or out? Good. That's in. 
So it's a point for Gallery Stower. A crucial point, by the way. Mm -hmm. Well, they're just down by three. A couple of good serves, and we know Shola Alvarez is a great server. The former MVP back in her college days, now doing the honors. 20 serving 23. That's in. That's a good one. That's it. Tip by Jules. How about that pancake save by Eliza Eroa? Pacres challenging Davison, and Dimi scores. Well, that's a point they needed. Now they're just down by two. But yeah, you have to credit that point to Eroa. Look at this save. And what a first set for Eliza Eroa. And there's some Dimi magic. Timeout 23 21. Serve Sino, show it. Ah, okay. Okay, same play. Gumilis. Amat ng palam siya. Hindi makano siya. Libero side parin. Ah, what a bobo watalam. Sang stop. Sang dalawan tayo. Hindi siya masya to kama atras. Tama lang play. Tama lang play. Hey, Piality! To be quite honest, before this game, I was curious as to who will start as a setter for PLDT. Rea de Makulangan or Kaf, no? Kim Pohardo. So it's Kim Pohardo now on the floor. And because she's the new player for them, how would you evaluate the way she has been setting for PLDT? Well, I feel that she is adjusting. Um, we've seen a lot better, but you know, we're, we're, we know for a fact that it's going to come. Now, the old Kim Pohardo, she's just got to settle down get used to you know the new teammates only a matter of time oh for sure 21 23 shola serves received by fiola there's the setup back to ceballos and she scores off the block yeah one on one and she gets that off dim practice for me ceballos really is such an underrated player oh she is right she is but she's, through the years we've seen her very effective now, Erika Santos checks in with the before-mentioned Rhea Dimakulangan. Right on cue. So Rhea will be serving a legend herself in Philippine women's volleyball. Who would have thought Rhea Dimakulangan and Kim Fajardo would be on the same <laughs> right. team in this lifetime? Well, I'm sure PLDT fans would gladly take it. Oh, Sharp serve. serve. Emnas Pakris tip. Yes. That's the magic of Pakris. <laughs> and there really is a certain it factor no, for Dimi that gets the crowd going. Ever since you said uh, UST. Kahit nga fan ka pa ng opposing team, eh, <laughs> you'll cheer for her. Yeah. 24, 22. So it still is two set points for PLDT. Here's Julia Ipa. Received by Kath. Dimakulangan to the middle, and it's Santos who will end set number one. Well, she ended it as quick as she entered the match. And yeah, PLDT, they were challenged, but they prevail in the first set. So there you have it, as entertained as we were in set number one, who gladly take it on the floor defense, was highly impressive, but still, there were nice counters by Savvy Davison and company. So this is only the second conference for Savvy, but she definitely looks so comfortable wearing red and yellow. Yeah, she is not disappointing her fans. I'm sure she has already won a lot of fans. Score.
in set number one. Reen, we talked about galleries a lot with their defense, but now let's highlight PLDP. What are the great things that you saw from their side? For me, they were challenged by a team. No? Again, we did say they only won one game last conference, but this conference, they're challenging PLDT. They're giving PLDT a run for their money. But for PLDT, you like that they maintained their composure. Yeah, they were challenged. They had some struggles throughout the set, but towards the end, that's where you know they maintained the, the sense of maturity and actually pulled, pulled it off. Look at the, the numbers. Attacks just by one. You're so impressed with the 15 attacks of uh, Gabby's tower blocks. That's the strength of PLDD for the two one ace. Error's pretty decent for both teams, but you like what you see with galleries. They're, you know, they're playing like they're enjoying. They're mm -hmm. here, they want to enjoy it, and maybe win a couple of sets first, a couple of more matches than just one. After all, if they win today, then they will already match their win total from the previous yeah. conference. But if I may go back to the opponent's errors, Tali, no? Four and five, you said they were pretty decent. Pretty decent. Actually, I don't know if it's been a theme lately, but I've been witnessing a lot of volleyball games. Like, yung mga number of errors, no? So is it uh, easy to conclude that this is high-level volleyball that we're witnessing right now? Very clean from these two teams. Yeah. Well, PBL is high-level. It's the highest in the country thus far. So, yeah, I mean, you see the errors more of the service. We saw two earlier. I lost count after the two. But yeah, after that, just three errors. So that's pretty good for, for PLDP. All right, so we're about to begin set number two for Galleries Tower and PLDT. Yes, Kim Fajardo is now playing for PLDT. Carly Hernandez, yes, she's not dressed as a libero. She is playing as a wing spiker. That's a couple of our changes for today. This, okay. Sorry? Yeah, no, the way Eroa is playing, it's like nobody else can be libero. Yeah. <laughs> right? So, like, Carly, you can just adjust. You, know, you, you want to play? I'll play another, <laughs> another spot, another position. <laughs> Here's Savi Davison. Shola Alvarez keeping it alive. Back set to France. To no avail. Quick. Ooh, there's another dive. Good save. It's all worth it. But a chance ball for PLDT. They open up. Savvy with a cross. Well, good effort. Still by Eroa. You know, she got a hand at that. But Savvy Davison, boy. She is really looking very good. Great start for Davison. You're right, though. That matchup when they play Petrogas with Brooke Van Sickle. Oh, yes. A matchup to watch. Van Sickle. Or, or Brooke Van Sickle was the MVP in the recently concluded PNBF right. Champions League. No, they defeated Signal HD in the finals as Davison scores again. Yeah, scoring at will. But you know what I noticed so far? There were some struggles in terms of the sets that she's comfortable with, but she just goes for it, right? That's the attitude she's showing us today. Two serving zero. A much better start for PLDT in this set. De Leon serves it sharply. Chance ball. Calf will choose. Savvy again. And that's another point for Savvy Davison. And why not go to Davison? I mean, she's established the fact she's a strong hitter. So the defense kind of froze when she just did an off speed. So that's three points for Savvy Davison. That's all hers. And she has 13, by the way, already in this game. That's all hers. Uh, you, or three. Oh, sa kanya lahat yan. Three zero. Oh, and that's her th total, one in three. 13 <laughs> points in this game. Very observant. <laughs> Chance now for PLDT. They go back to Savi. Mabilangan, getting that ball up. And that's a good read. Davison once more, off speed. Carly Hernandez with the dig. Donquillo. Nope. Chase. Another chance ball. <laughs> Tibalios, Fajardo, Davison! That's in, straight to zone number five. You know, it looked like a miss hit, but still, just enough top spin. Look at the follow through. It looked like a miss hit, but just enough top spin to get it to clip the line. So it's four points now for Savi in this set. It's been all her. <laughs> It's all her. <laughs> that four is all hers. Which means Jesse De Leon will continue to serve. Received by Carly. Abilangan to the open. 
Ball hit the net there. He shall continue. Davison, better net defense. Carly Hernandez, challenged at the net as well. Push. <laughs> A long rally. Out to the side of Gallery Stower. That's out. All right, now let's go back to Jana Ejido for this report. Migs and Arena, earlier you mentioned how the Gallery's high risers have been constantly challenging PD, PLDT, giving them a run for the money back in their first set. And when I spoke with Coach Lerma earlier, she credits that kind of firepower to the previous conference as it brought out so much experience for her team. In fact, she hopes to bring and instill three things in particular for the high risers, and those are consistency, maturity, and chemistry. According to her, not Titibay ang samahan daw nila if they let these three revolve around their system. So let's see how Galleries puts consistency, maturity, and chemistry to the test here in set number two. This report is brought to you by the Pilipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now or watch via PilipinasLive.com and experience PBL games live in HD and commercial free anytime and anywhere in the world. Back to you, Migs and Irene. Thank you, Jana. You know, yun yung mga klaseng report na na-imagine ko yung locker room nila. Those three words are written on their whiteboard. Yeah. <laughs> well, they'll touch before they, they go out to play. They'll tap it first. All right, so consistency, maturity, and chemistry. We'll remember those for Gallery Tower. But right now, it's Davison who leads the way with 14 points. Ronquillo has four on the other end for the high risers. Six serving one. Kim Fajardo will do the honors. Well, you did say good start for PLDT. It's the best start so far. How about Demi Pacres getting the start here in set number two, carrying on some momentum from set number one? Yeah, you like that then, no? I mean, because you want to find also which six will work best. It's not necessary you're, you're starting six. That's why coaches tend to shuffle their players. That's Mayan Esguera with the serve. Also on her second conference with Gallery Stower. Tough dig. That was an easy ball. Return for Demi. Chance on the other end. Savvy, tip, straight to Pacres, chase. <laughs> and Neymar Pabilangan just went straight to Noringo, <laughs> which means it would have been hard to save that ball. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was watching Demi Pacres the entire time, and she was like cheering her teammate. <laughs> Abulid mo. Abulid mo. Oh, she, she couldn't have gotten to the ball. She no? can't. Kunti, eh. double siya no, all she can do is cheer her team. <laughs> <laughs> eh. Seven to two. Serve for Savi. Pacres. Could not score. Pushed by Majoy. It was there. Mabilangan to the open. Good net defense there by PLDT. And it's Epoch who prevails. Boy, what coverage being displayed by Gallery Star. You can see that center, that middle, wherein PLDT was successful in scoring. Arrow is all over that. Well, I like said, oh, uh, at this point, it's already in double figures in, ter in terms of excellent things, For by the sure. way. For <laughs> sure. For sure. Demi Pacres will be serving. Oh, that was out. Well, she was already at... Sa dulo na siya. And, oh, yeah, by the A-boards. All right, first technical timeout here in set number two. Eight to three is the score. Filipinas contra Chinese Taipei, the FIBA Asia Cup 2025 qualifiers this February 25, live at the Phil Sports Arena in Pasig City. Buy your tickets now. So if you're uh, watching this game, yeah, supporting that woman, Kiana D. Uh, I'm sure you're also a fan of Dwight Ramos. He's back in the Philippines to support and uh, to play for Gilas Filipinas. Mika Reyes as well at the sideline. Jovi Prado. Jovi Prado. Nursing some injuries. Oh, nagtago naman. Oh. Sino Audrey Paran. And was that uh, RJ? No, Ramal, yes. yeah. So RJ is out for this conference, but Audrey Paran is only feeling under the weather. So she will be able to return soon. Oh, what a serve. Mabilangan on to Ipa. Here's Kim Fajardo. Back set. Ooh, another 
Another tough save there for Eliza Eroa. Unfortunately, that attack sails outside for Gallery Stower. You know, if you're the teammates of Eliza Eroa, you just have to be confident that the ball's not gonna drop. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you know coverage is there, so just keep hitting, keep swinging. Nine serving three now. This is relatively a big, big lead already in this matchup. Fajardo keeping it alive. Baron a bit tight for Ceballos. Eroa again clearing it. And it's Shola Alvarez who oh! won't get the point. He shall continue. Mabilangan to the quick. Fajardo keeps it alive. Baron opposite angle. Jules. The rally continues. Shola cross. The dig. Straight to Fiola. Back set. Savvy. Straight to Carly. Mabilangan to the open. Shola against two blockers. Returned by Jules. Oh! And <laughs> that's it for the rally. A point for BLDT. Oh, but that was a great rally. Great, great rally. One of the best rallies so far. You can see the effort being put in by all these players to keep <laughs> the ball alive. And these are the moments where you really get to feel that the PBL is back. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta love it. Substitution here. So it's a change of setters. Mabilangan will be taking a breather. Pasok dito si Fen Emnas. Well, you're pretty impressed. At least we are pretty impressed with Mabilangan, the rookie setter. But yeah, I think this is a great substitution. Let's see what Emnas can do. Back set by Kim. Wow. Demi Pacres saving that ball. Hernandez sends it through. Majoy back to the opposite. Oh, what a hit by Jules Samonte. That was with an exclamation point. Boy, Paron has been setting very well. Eh? Right. <laughs> As a middle blocker, that is very impressive. Wala pong double contact at all. 11 to 3, timeout. Makakapatay talaga. Hindi natin kailangan ng yung mga... Pasimplihin nyo na lang. Pasimplihin nyo na lang. Ngayon, nawawala tayo ng depensa. Una muna, pasa. Pasa again. Pasa again. Okay. 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 Uy, malayo pa yan. 11-3. Hanggat walang 25 yan. Well, time to okay. Say, say natin. Okay. Sino nagsunahan? Ikaw? Oo. Okay, may dalawa. Nasa si... Kung kaya mag-appeal. Wait, wait, wait. Let's go, let's go. All right, sir. Go, guys, go, guys. All right, so the thing that helped them a lot in the first set is quite missing here. The floor defense being asked by uh, Coach Lerma Hiron. No, I, you know what I feel? Like with Eroa and her coverage, defense is still there. The thing is, they can't seem to convert. Okay. Now, you have to give credit to PLPT's defense because they stepped it up a notch here in set number two. There you have it. Let's see if PLDT can continue with this good momentum. Ooh, that's a judgment called by Dimi. Ball sent through by Carly Hernandez. Kaff will send it onto the opposite. And Jules prevails again. Ah, they call it check, yeah. Because it sailed wide. It, it, there's a check. Was it on Demi Packers? Oh, now there will be a challenge on the block touch. Or is it a ball in, ball out? Yeah, it should be a block touch. Oh, there's Coach Oji. Very, very busy man. Yesterday, panalo ulit, no? Three sets versus UE. Mm -hmm. That's a tight one, by the way. Which reminds me, it's a nice time for volleyball. A great first great quarter. Time. <laughs> this coming March, we have the Spikers turf. Wewe Medina. There you go. You know, upper right corner. Yeah. He's really playing for Army. As a star, by the way, he's been that good. This is a block touch challenge. Yes or no? Yeah. See the wiggling of the finger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the challenge will be unsuccessful. Jules Samonte with another point. Seven points now for Jules. That's three in the set after four in the opener. He's the second leading scorer after Savi. Once Foes, Samonte, and uh, Fajardo now on the same team. I thought you were going to say Samonte and Demi. Diba college pala so. magkalaba na yan? Oh. As there's a push by Ipa for a point. 
Well, Baron, Pajoy Baron saying that it's out. I don't see a challenge. We shall continue. The elite is just laughing it off. They do have a good cushion here. 12 to 4. Mm. It will be Shola Alvarez to serve. Hmm. Tama. Second referee saying that uh, the server is correct. Shola Alvarez. The approach and the serve. Good serve. Savi with the receive. Calf to the middle. And is that the first point of Jesse? Yes. Well, it's a good patient win because what a point. What a first point by Jesse De Leon. You see now the comfortability is getting there. But Jesse De Leon with that solid kill. It's only a matter of time. 13 to 4. Jules Amonte. Ooh, that's a rare miss received by Eliza Eroa. Yeah, when you look at that reception, she she was bound to shank it because she jumped for it and then she like she reached for it. That's why coaches will always say stay grounded get their proper form in place. What do you think led her to jumping there? Oh, another misread by Eliza. That drops in for Jules Amonte. Well, normally, if you're not comfortable with the formation, eh, mm. bang, you know, you're out of position, you, your reaction time also wasn't there. Like that one, that, that second error. So Eroa will take a breather now. Juliet Katindig will be the libero. Good receive. Yeah. Emnas back set onto Epak. Juliet with the coverage. This time it's Carly. Pacres keeping it alive. They give it back to Hernandez. Davison digs it up. Calf. Fiola. Nice approach. And no more save there for Julia Epak. <laughs> and laughter is all around, and they deserve it. That will send us to the second technical timeout. The score now is 16 to 4. Pure domination. Good news, mga kapatid. Mapapanood na rin tayo ngayon sa pinakabagong free-to-air channel na talaga namang para sa Pinoy, ang RPTV. Tutok na sa Analog TV Channel 9, DTP Channel 19, at sa higit 300 cable at satellite providers nationwide at sa Signal Play. See the crowd here inside the Phil Oil Eco Oil Center in San Juan, supporting Gallery Tower, PLDT, and later on, it's Next Lead versus Choco Mucho. Sabi ko nga nakikita ng uh, posters kanina eh. May posters ni Ivy Laxina, may posters ni Dana Wong, may posters din ng teammates nila. Right now, we're enjoying this action between PLDT and Gallery Tower. That's what they love about the fans of, P of uh, the PVL, really. They're into the game yes. and they have all these paraphernalias to show love. Oh, <laughs> what a move there by Kim Fajardo. Chance ball. Arado. Fajardo onto De Leon there for the easy ball. You know, you see the difference a great kill makes. Now there's that confidence from Jesse De Leon. This spike of the set is brought to you by Duncan. Pasalubong ng bayan. That's two points in the set from Jesse De Leon. I appreciate her attitude. Remember years back, she's always a bench player. Yes, so. Oh. Comes off the bench. For a while, she became a serve specialist, which is not Jesse De Leon. But then now she's getting the start, so if you put the work into it, your work will pay off. Oh, <laughs> Dimi Pacres with a dive there. And Oa gives up a ball. And an attack from the middle. Jesse De Leon with the third point. <laughs> Jesse De Leon is loving it. All right, they have a timeout. 18 to 4. The lead has just ballooned.
Well, he talked about the elevation of PLDT's game, and they seem to be very consistent at it. Mm. Look at that lead, Noreen, 18 to 4. And of course, Coach Oji Mamon is enjoying the action. I wonder why he's here. I also wonder. It's normally when that happens, when you see, oh, oh maybe that's the reason. Someone's here. <laughs> <laughs> no, someone's here. Are we seeing maybe a new coach for Ooh. the future? Sometimes like that, eh? What a teaser. <laughs> but again, we can't and we won't speculate. We just enjoy his presence as ah. Emna's committed an error there, low on her attack. Well, she she had the right thing in mind, Fen Emna. She does that, eh? especially when she dumps it like she's going to block it. It's the timing that wasn't there. And it's extra challenging for her, no? She's not the tallest of setters. Mm, yeah. 19 to 4, miss receive. Also a characteristic for Carly Hernandez. Well, after a great first set, Galleries Towers, they're actually crumbling here in the second set. And you said it, a pretty dominant performance for PLDT. All right, we just saw a substitution. Sheila Kiseo actually was their service specialist in the first set. Now she just replaced Theola Ceballos. Jules serves it straight to Eliza. And that's going to Ipak for that point. We're going to see more of that for me. Julia Ipak in the middle, the running. As we should. Yeah. She is very capable of doing those types of hits. Substitution here, Hernandez will check out Masudito Siraprap Aguilar. So the service specialists now will be uh, doing the normal wing spiker duties. <laughs> yeah. Well, what you're wondering actually for Gallery Tower is Grace Bombita. I mean, how is she? How's her recovery coming along? No, that strengthening. Right. Uh, she really looked to be uh, nursing that knee in the previous conference, no? But before she went down, boy, was she a star. The first ever PBL player of the week. I won't forget that <laughs> in the back of the bubble. And I remember they upset. They're, oh, they're a winless team, but they upset like, the first seeded team. Yeah, right? I think it was Cherry, Cherry Digo. You know, with Jaja ja, Pa. Oh, oh. Right? Yeah. that's a Bali Pure team. To remember, as we should say. Oh, Bedonia gets her first point here. So that's also... Uh, a good first point for her here in the PPL. Right. With the help of the net, but she'll take it. It's Kisha Bedonia also from FEU. It's her and this woman, Sheila Kiseo, as former standouts from Moraita, uh, being a part of the High Speed Hitters program. 22 serving five. Hmm, good serve. You see by Sola. Abilangan back in the game, working with Rap Rap. Nice dig. Back row hit. Yes! The two FEU players now scoring for PLDT. <laughs> Look at the, the celebration there. That's, that's what you love about new players. No? They inject some sense of uh, yeah. childishness. Uh, um, no, I mean, they're enjoying their, you know, like they're making things uh, I think current the, I and think the, the word is childlike nature. Childlike, Childlike, yeah. uh oh. Fresh energy, parang ganon. I love that point, That's though, Marie. No, oh. Babilangan sends it through. Bedonia against two blockers will prevail. <laughs> it's an FU stretch. <laughs> it goes to show the attitude of these youngsters. You know, they come in, they're given, what, a few minutes to play, and they're going to give it their all. Nisa Virai is also now on the court, by the way. She hails from San Beda University. And she, and I know this for a fact, Siya talaga yung pinaka nakakatawa dyan sa PLDT team. Yeah. And I was, uh, I spent a little bit of time with them last week. 24 to 6. Did you enjoy that short get-together? <laughs> it's, it's really more of getting, uh, getting to familiarize yourself a lot more with the players, no? Especially with all these new additions. Yeah. Bedonia, this time rejected. Back to her. Cross-court target. Eliza Eroa keeping it alive. Rap Rap, it's wide. Yeah, you saw the follow through. Pretty tight, pretty stiff. All right, so that's it. It was a very 
dominant set for PLDT. And now we will highlight the other ring spiker, Jules Samonte, doing it on almost every aspect, by the way. A block, a service ace, and some attack points as well. A lot of a lot of names we have to mention, no? Jules Samonte is one of them. What about Jesse De Leon? Mm -hmm. Also towards the middle. She had three points. So we saw a tale of uh, two different stories here in this match so far. Marine, what's the biggest difference there in set number two? For me, after you know that first set, where in PLDT kind of you know where they were challenged by Gallery Tower, the second set they they really amped it up a, not a bit by a lot. You saw their defense working. Defense was, was still there for Galleries. That was their strength in the first set. But in the second set, their attacks were just confronted with great defense on the side of PLDT. Let's look at the numbers. Attacks, 15 to 4. I mean, it was what? 15, 15, 16 in the first set? It was just by one. But a dominating performance in terms of attacks because Galleries could not convert, we're saying. And, you know, we have to mention it's also, it is because of the defense of PLDT. So, and look, they also have more errors. And then, remember the two service aces that happened towards the last yep. part that uh, added to the three. But overall, a better second set for PLDT. They look more comfortable. Defense was working. Then you have Kim Fajardo just feeding his <laughs> her, her attacker. So, yeah, I mean, they look good in the second set. We even saw some points coming from the players off the bench, no? Uh, it's Kiseo and the other FEU player in Bedonia. Mm. Samonte, basically a star in set number two, had six points to her tally. 
But Savannah Davidson still also continued scoring. She now has 15. There she is. Yeah, but she did rest uh, a bit there in set <laughs> number two. But by that time, she already had a lot of points on the table. And so, can we see a different galleries team? Maybe somewhat similar to what we saw in set number one. That's the hope for them. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining us. This is Mix Gomez alongside Noreen Go. And our courtside reporter is Jana Ejido for the first game. Later on, it's Next Led taking on Choco Mucho for the second game of the PVL Thursday. Miss Q, Miss Receive. And that's an easy ace for Jules Samonte. Well, it looked like it was going out. That's why Alvarez. Did she let it go? But she didn't. She wasn't aware that Ronquillo was right behind her for that. So an, an ace there for Samonte. Service inside again. Hernandez going cross. Arado putting it up. Fajardo to the quick. Chance to counter. Back row. Ronquillo. We saw a lot of those in the first set. Mm -hmm. Cevalio. Ooh. How about the way that she swiped that ball? It's a, a hook shot. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. It's like a hook shot. Then the nun. Kareem. Kareem Abdul Jabbar. What a reference to reach. Hook shot. Who else? Kareem. 2 <laughs> 0. Jules Samonte continues to serve. She's had four aces, by the way, in this game. Hernandez going cross. Catarado again with the dig. Ceballos. Ball up by Ronquillo. Here's Hernandez, off speed. Back row for Davison. That's out. Yeah, we heard the miss hit, but yeah, I mean, that was a good rally in favor of Gallery's tower defense. You know, they're struggling a bit with the first pass, but good thing they made up for that. So now it's Name Abilangan serving on the other end for Gallery's tower. She spent some time on the bench in set number two. In favor of Ben Emnas. Ceballos tried to break down the wall to no avail. Almost a net touch there. Good for Kim Fajardo oh. to have been very careful. Chance ball given up for PLDT. Fajardo to the quick. And Jesse De Leon will score and quickly apologize. Did you give a facial. <laughs> give out the facial. <laughs> it wasn't the worst, but still a good act of sportsmanship. Check it out. Ah, no. Dina Bai. But the ball was on its way to the <laughs> face. <laughs> Na block lang, no? Ni Ney Mabilangan. Yeah, but for PLDT, they found a new connection, the Fajardo de Leon connection. It's been looking good ever since the second set. Good answer here for Gallery Tower. Two to three now in set number three. Yeah, you know, that's one person you want to see get more touches in terms of hitting Marzan. Yeah. Right? I mean, she has that running as well and quick, so she needs to get her, her sets. And she actually had a good start in this game. Two early points scored for Andrea Marzan. Dig by Kath. Has an over ball, and it's Kim Fajardo who just had to maximize that. Scoring a point for PLDT. Now let's hear from Jana Ejido. Migs and Noreen, prior to the start of the season, Coach Raul Dricofort shared with me that his team has been hard at work with their off-season preparations. They've been having constant tune-up matches against collegiate and men's teams, and these gave him the confidence to kickstart their campaign strong in this conference. They're showing in their off-season prep. Had him describe his team as a blessing, as he says, and I quote, I have no complaints. Coach also adds how the difference maker is going to be how much more focused they've become not just to get a good start, but to look at this campaign ahead with utmost confidence. And this report is brought to you by the Pilipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now or watch via PilipinasLive.com and experience PVL games live in HD and commercial-free anytime and anywhere in the world. Back to you, Migs and Irene. Thank you, Jana. I'm sure a lot of coaches would share the same sentiment, though. If they're in the same position of Coach Radrick Afford, this is a privilege for you to coach. Yeah. A talented team such as PLDT, with Majoy Baron setting things up for Savi Davison. Yeah, but it's not as easy as people think because that's why you have off-season changes, you have acquisitions, you have wala pang trade, uh, you have changes in your lineup because, you know, it's uh, evolving sport. Yes. You're not just 
you're not going to stick with just that lineup. Now. Yeah, this is it. That's, that's it. You have to make the changes. It's the hardest job to do for the coaches. That just made me remember, we might not have trades in the BVL, but we're going to have a draft yeah. sometime soon. Down the line for Savvy Davison. Well, a lot of fans pretty excited. Even me included, you know, pretty excited about that concept, that draft. Because of course. It opens up the opportunities for the other teams, the newer ones most especially. And that will certainly shake things up when it comes to the standings. And we also have to remember, as Isa Jimenez checks in, it's been a trend mm. in the UAAP that rookies turn out to be MVPs. <laughs> Why won't it uh, apply in a league like the PVL? Yeah, like first year player making her impact. Ooh, no more chase there. It's a point for Gallery Tower. Yeah. Well, another strong start, but you, if you're the Gallery Tower, again, yeah, that's, there are different ways to score. It's not just all spikes. You can do off speed, you can drop. Good to see Isa Jimenez. She was actually uh, a rotation player last conference for Gallery Tower. No more chase there. It's a point for BLDT. Their lead is five to so send us to the first technical timeout. behind Savannah Davison who has 18. Wow. I need to know how many excellent sets has uh, Fajardo dished out. Let's look for it. In her first game as a high-speed hitter. Getting to see the numbers now. Wow. No, <laughs> nagulat kami doon. We saw the number five initially. <laughs> so it's ten. Oh. Ten is the answer. Opposite angle. And through the block, it's a point for Isa Jimenez. You can see you like that substitution. We've seen her in her collegiate days, so we know what she can do. That's why you like it that she's getting her chance to showcase her talent here. Four serving eight. Isa sends that ball in. Miss receive an ace. Well, these are precious points off the bench. How about that? A couple of points for Gallery Tower off of the technical timeout. Jimenez with another serve. Ooh, just low this time. 50-50. 50% discounted <laughs> percent off Isa Jimenez service. <laughs> Nine to five. Savvy Davison with a serve. Chola Alvarez blocked. Coverage was there. They send it to the other side. Tough save for Jules. Chance ball. Nay to choose the pipe. Whistle blown. Violation. Yeah, foot fault? Yeah, foot fault. But that's one thing galleries they have to learn. When when the defense of PLDT they were scrambling, that's a perfect time to like run the middles, you know, fast sets. But then it was a pretty slow set to the pipe and then the violation. So these are the adjustments you, you want to see, especially for Mabilan, because she is a rookie. Oh nice block by Majoy Baron. That's our question for today, by the way, on Filipina Slide. Samonte sending that ball to the other side. Counter for Shola. Rejected. On cue. We are talking about the blocking and another one there for Majoy Baron. 
quite unusual to see that uh, Majoy only has one block point as of this point in this match. Hey, look who's in. Grace Bombita. <laughs> there you go. Now we're going to look at how she uh, jumps, no? And if, if she is going to nurse that knee. Oh, good dig. Arado onto the right pin. Samonte. Lockers were there. The ball sailed out. Point for Jules. Well, she looked like she had some elevation in that block, talking about Grace Bombita. We have a timeout. The score is 12 to 5. Gusto nyo, malalakas na palo. Given na yan eh, malakas kayong pumalo. Hindi natin kailangan yung malakas yun na palo. Ang kailangan natin, be at the moment, ano ang nangyayari, ikalma, i-short ball ninyo. Oh, nagbigay ng short ball. Nagulo ba yung depensa nila? Oh, eh bakit pinipilit nyo ipalo ng ipalo? Simple yung instruction. Try natin mo nang isundin. Kung hindi effective, tsaka tayo gumawa ng ibang parang. We've seen four straight points now from the side of PLDT. That's why you can hear the sense of urgency from the voice no, of uh, Coach Lerma Hiron. And you see, once again, Tiana D with Mika Reyes and Jovi Prado. <laughs> that, uh, sitting wounded. <laughs> no. No. Mika, shoulder injury. Tiana, still not, not 100%. Knee, right? Knee. Yeah, with a knee. Prado is knee also, I know. It was soon to them. You also saw Sir Drew Turquato, by the way. At the sideline. Here's Grace Bombita using her left hand. Fajardo. And that tip for Xavi works perfectly. You know, Davison always just tries to break up the momentum of the opponent uh, with all these drop shots. Block, cover, spike, and then Davison just messes with everything. <laughs> A testament to her being a very intelligent player. 13 to 5. The run is 5 to 0, by the way. Fajardo, Arado, Ceballos. In or out? It's in. Oh, oh there was a check. Will there be a challenge? Looks like there won't be. I think uh, Mabilangan was the one who admitted. It's like a, a green card. <laughs> a fair play card. Xavi Davison. They're enjoying this run. 6-0 to zero for PLDT. Bombita. Still not the highest of elevations. Back set to Jules. And she scores. Yeah, she overpowers the blockers getting it through. Jula Epak there. What a game Jules Amontes has been playing today. 13 points, 8 from the attacks. Make that 9 from the attacks and 4 service aces. <laughs> Hernandez with the receive. Slide. Arado using her left hand to try to save the ball to no avail. She's really showing us whatever works. <laughs> Although, yeah, it <laughs> sailed wide, but... This bike of the set is brought to you by Duncan. Masalubong ng bayan. Do you want to add anything more about that? Oh, you're good. I'm good. We shall continue. Because of the Duncan. Na busuke. As Jules Samonte continues to shine for PLDT. It's now 16 to 6. A lot more to watch out for. And to my knowledge, the schedule was uh, 
how do you call it? Bunutan yung naging system. Uh, uh -huh. So this is a random, random manner. Yeah. Later on, we do have a nice matchup as well with Nextled taking on Choco Mucho. Nextled is a team that also had some good recruits. They're a rising program, much like a couple more squads here in the PVL. We also have some new teams that we can expect to be a lot better in the coming years as well. And for, yeah, and for those who just joined us, each team will play a single round robin. Top four will make it, only top four will make it to the semifinal round. For another round robin. Yes. And then, if there are ties, in case of ties, it will be decided, the winner will be decided by playoff. Oh, not there's anymore. play -off. Yeah, not anymore. Let's say there are top three and then four or five are tied of uh, the same standing. They will uh, play a knockout match. So no more caution. There you go. <laughs> no more sets, sets <laughs> one and uh, win over the other. But to be honest, as a fan, it's an extra game to watch. Yeah. To be entertained. Why not? And a lot of people, especially those who don't really understand the, the concept of the quotient system, it's like, come on, just play one more. <laughs> Laro na lang kayo. <laughs> it looks like uh, we have a timeout now. 18 to 6 is the tally. Mga simpleng bola, hindi natin alam po anong gagawin. Isa, nakikita mo ba yung ginagawa ng kabila? Nakataas na yung kamay. Hindi naman nag-pull back na at atake. Alam mo yung isa lang kalaban nyo. Okay? Uy, walang, walang ibang na memory sa inyo. Ay, 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 Tally is 18 to 6 now in set number three. This set is looking like what happened in set number two. And there you see Rachel Ostero making her first appearance. Good to have her with PLDT as well. Majoy Baron serving. And it's another run and gun for Julia Ipa. She's very comfortable from that angle. That's a great target because she looked. Who is manning the back? Right. The middle blocker. So you have a better chance of getting a point. <laughs> when the middle blockers are serving zone number five. <laughs> More often than not is the target. That is your target. Julia Ipak. Let's see if the same will apply for PLDT now with Ipak serving. But Ostero is denied from the middle. Now you can see she wasn't too comfortable with that set. You know, coming off the bench. Eight serving, 18. Yeah, still a comfortable, commanding lead for PLDT. Here's Julia. Let's see her tally. Seven points for Julia Ipak. Set up for Jules. Samonte now just scored her 15th point in this game. Just dropping it. That was a really solid, solid outing for, for Jules Samonte today. 19 to 8 now. So, um, Erika Santos has returned with Rea de Makulangan, their usual double sub. A testament to their depth, by the way. Sa lagay na yan, hindi pa sila kompleto with some injuries in their roster. Del Palomata also should be expected to be a part of the rotation in the next games. Catarado will send it to the left pin. Oh, uh, is that a miss oh, hit? Oh. No, I think it was deliberate. I think she wanted really to go for that tough angle because of her options. She did have a lot of options. Let's see. Yeah, you see that. Oh, the follow the bomb was facing right. It's not easy to do that, mind you. Uh. <laughs> the execution of Chavalios. Smart play by Fiola. Rea de Makulangan continues to serve. They're up by 12. Rhea sends that ball what? in. <laughs> uh, See, no need to warm up for Rhea de Makulangan. I'll just serve it. I'll get an ace. <laughs> That's like a flashback to a lot of moments from the past. Yeah. Norma Hiron, I'm sure, I'm sure has seen that as well. 21 to 8 now. Rhea back at it. 
Look at, look at how calm she serves. Just very, very calm. Hernandez rejected at the net. Yeah, PLDT pulling away here. And doing it in all aspects of the game, defense and offense. Now, Niza Virai has checked back in for Catarado. Davison will also. Oh, sorry, it's not Xavi, it's Viola who will check out. And then it's Keisha Bedonia who returns for PLDT. Aside from Del Palomata, I think everyone has played mm -hmm. on the side of PLDT. Good day for them to allow their players to shine. Back row for Savi. Heroa puts it up. Hernandez sends it to the back row. Dimakulangan looks and sets. On to Erika Santos. That's her usual angle, right? Mm. Well, they can afford a couple of... Uh, Hitting errors here and there. Pretty comfortable lead. Nine serving 22. Here's Ney Mabilangan. This is actually a day or a game wherein Ney was really given an opportunity mm, yeah. to prove herself as a starting setter. Rachel Ostero scoring her first point in this matchup. Let me check that. Her first attack point. She's had one block point already. <laughs> we like that coming off the bench. That's why, you know, when you when they get the opportunity to get playing time, you want to set to them. So the scoring tally for Fiola Ceballos and also Rex Intal and Jao Mandal watching from behind. Those two players are set to square off in the upcoming Spikers Turf Tournament. That's an illegal attack. For Gallery Stower. So it's 15 set points for PLDT. Everything has changed yeah. ever since set number one. Bedonia with a serve. Eroa receives. Set up for Jimenez. It's long, and that's it. That's the game. That's game. PLDT wins it in straight sets. More importantly, oh, wait, 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 there's more. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody just had to stop us here. There would be a challenge, a block touch challenge presented onto us by Wewe Medina. Well, Rachel Ostero is saying, I didn't touch it. No green card <laughs> for me. Well, there's nothing to lose in your gallery's tower. You know, I, I have to say, these are the challenges that Sir Sev Serveta hates. <laughs> totally hates because. It's, it's match point, eh? Match point, celebration. Then, oh, wait, wait, there's some more. Yeah, <laughs> it stops the celebration. Yeah. BLDT lining up there at the back line. I wonder what they're talking about. They're snapping it off. Lock touch, yes or no? Nada. So that's it. That's it. There's no more. <laughs> <laughs> coach Derma will now shake hands with Coach Raul Ricafort. This is the first victory of the conference for the PLDT high-speed hitters. New look as they may seem. And of course, there's more to expect for this team. Yeah, but you have to feel for the gallery tower, really, because a lot of players didn't play still. That's not their starting six. But a great first set. It's just that, again, they have to sustain that kind of play. Viola Ceballos. Well, she was the one who owned set number three. Seven points to her name. Five of them. Sorry, four coming in set number three. All right, so we'll take a short break and we'll be back to wrap this game up.
See the final score, 25-22, 25-6, and 25-9 in favor of PLDT against Galleries Tower. Just pure domination in the last two sets for the high-speed hitters. How did they shut down Galleries Tower, Nareen? Well, they played the brand of volleyball we know PLDT to play under Coach Ralph Ricafort's system. Good defense all around, great communication. All right, so we want to give shout-outs to girls like Jules Samonte, Fiola Ceballos, but our best player of the game is the top scorer herself. She is with Jana Ejido. That's right, Megs and Noreen. I am with our player of the game, Savannah Davison. Congratulations, Savvy. She's your player of the game with 19 points off of 16 attacks and 12 blocks. Savvy, I just want to ask, how does it feel to be back on court playing on a new conference here in the PBO? I mean, I'm so excited to be here. I'm so excited for the 2024 conference, um, this one and their fourth moving forward. Um, I'm just excited to start with the people that we have. You know, like the additions, it feels great to be back. Now, why do we talk about the game? Galleries kept it toe-to-toe -to -toe with you in the first set. Now, how did you dominate this match onwards? I think we kind of just like focused on our basics. Um, serve and pass, you know, it's always a game winner. Um, unforced errors, obviously, um, we tried to keep it to a minimum. And therefore, like, from there forward, I feel like it was just kind of keeping control of our side of the court. You know, volleyball, you can kind of get messed up on both sides, but, you know, we stuck to the basics on our side, and I think that's what put us through. And now with one win in the bag, what's going to be the outlook like for you and the team throughout this long conference ahead of us? I think it was a good start. I mean, we I, it's the first game, you know. There's so many to look forward to, and I'm so excited to do it with these girls. All right, and of course, anybody you would want to give messages to? At the Kim and at the Majoy and the PLDD sponsors, obviously. Hi, friends and family as well, watching back home. All right, thank you so much, Savvy. Congratulations to your player of the game today. Again, that's 19 points for her off of 16 attacks and two blocks. Congratulations back to you, Megs and Irene. Thank you, Jana. Savvy looks to be comfortable already, you know, with these types of best player of the game interviews. <laughs> She's used to it. Yeah. yeah, congratulations to her. An awesome start for Savvy Davison and the rest of PLDP. They're not even complete as of this moment. Match highlights. Dating back from set number one, we have been mentioning that Gallery Style surprised a lot of people, especially at the start of this matchup, but PLDD was able to recover pretty quickly. Yeah, PLDD showing us that indeed their goal this conference is to make it to a podium finish, and we're seeing that you can feel the excitement. We heard a lot of that word, excited, excited. And I'm sure that is the outlook of PLDD, and they displayed it into today's game. And as Jana mentioned, it is going to be a long conference. It is. For these high-speed hitters, it's only the beginning. We haven't even seen the likes of Del Palomata, Kiana D, but we saw Kim Fajardo set the ball very well to her teammates. Uh, Savvy Davison top scored. Jules Amonte was second with 15 points. Ceballos had seven. Majoy Baron had four points to her tally as well. To see the final stats. Well, after the first set, I remember we ended with like one point difference in the tax and PLDT just stepped on the gas and poured all these uh, spikes and hits, 47 to 24. Then you can see the blocking. So all categories favors, obviously, PLDT. That's why they won easily the second and then the third set. So they're looking good. Galleries Tower back to the drawing board. A bit of adjustment because your lineup is not complete as well. And for a new team, that is harder than PLDT that they can adjust. So just looking forward to the future games of Galleries Tower. As a good reminder, Audrey Paran is expected to return for the High Risers in the next coming games. So that's the first game for today in your Thursday doubleheader. After this, we shall proceed with a couple of fan favorites, the Choco Mucho Flying Titans, with Dino Wong representing them in that picture, and Ivy Laxina alongside the next lead comedians will be their foes for today here inside the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center. From Ringo and Jana Ejido, my name is Mix Gomez, and thank you for joining us for the first game of your feed.